Hi, I'm Nick Argenbright, and in this week's episode of Opposing Roles, Denton, W-73, and Sinya rescue the Gungan Cruyff and come up with a plan to escape. W-73 gets help from an unlikely place. Everyone have dice, extra paper, pencils, their character sheets? All right, let's begin. Let's roll for initiative. This season, we're playing Star Wars, the role-playing game by West End Games. Our players this season are... This is Steve Moosley, or Moose. This is Samantha Stark, also known as Sam. This is Eric Sternberger, known as Eric Sternberger. And I am your Game Master, Nick Argenbright, and this is Opposing Roles. You could be larger than life, bigger than the world. This is Opposing Roles, Bad Data. This is an almost actual play podcast with every season featuring a different RPG game system, sometimes reoccurring, other times brand new. We don't have anything to point out table talk wise this week, a section where we discuss inside references or jokes at the table. But if you feel we should have said something, please let us know at goodbaggeeky at gmail.com. Previously on Opposing Roles. In the rubble, though, you can kind of see it looks like there's someone under, underneath it. You see both the, the one eye open, and he just kind of shakes his head, and um, he is just like, uh, where's uh, his eye? Do you think that you're in jail? Because if so, good news. <laughs> you know where you're at. Uh, if you don't, bad news, you're in jail. Um, second off, hey, you're welcome back. How's your eyesight? <laughs> I didn't actually say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking it. How many fingers am I holding? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that? No, he, he's still out of eyesight. I might, I, he can't see you. Right? No, he's five feet back. True. Yeah, we, that's why I was asking. I'm just suggesting they back. should say that. Well, remember, now you don't know his depth perception that well yet either. Yeah. So technically, five feet back could be out of eyesight. It's true, true. But that's just the first test I always do with vision. But, is but, how many fingers am I holding up? But but roll roll to see if you said that out loud. Oh, I just oh, missed your wild eyes. Oh, is that okay? Yeah, three. Yeah, you said that out loud. <laughs> Um, uh, and then actually hold on here let me just see because that's a valid point how well is his perception uh, he, he who said that oh so are we uh, we got a droid with us It's he, he's one of ours he's a friend it's okay the, the only problem is he does well, I, have I, didn't, I didn't know we were friends that's very I, sweet alright well technically he's a pain in the ass but he's our pain in the ass <laughs> yes. um, so He's not he, now. He might look a lot like uh, a, a fellow you know, but he is not. W- w- what's a do you mean? Uh, I'll, I'll fix it later in post. You know, just <laughs> first off, Debbie, so just come here. <laughs> how, how you doing? All right. So as you're, as, 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 <laughs> that is perfectly timed. So she, she's just like W seventy three, come here. And as he, right as she came to get that out, you're just like. Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> and his eye grows white as he sees you. Okay. Um, he can see, and and he just kind of stares at you for a second, and he's just like, oh, okie day. <laughs> Take it all in. <laughs> okie <Yeah>. day. <laughs> like, uh, he seems kind of in shock. So, uh, W73, this is, um, I think, okie day. No. <laughs> uh, he didn't tell us his name. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how I react. I always just start saying my own name. I know you do that <laughs> in moments of excitement as well. It's called a daily affirmation. <laughs> At the end of those four minutes, dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Uh, uh, he, he, uh, my name is Croif. 
Cruyff? Cruyff. Cruyff. It's K-R-O-I-F-F. Cruyff? Yes, sir? His name is Cruyff. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Cruyff, uh, how, how did you get here? Uh, Misa captured by... by Joida that looks like a hammer. Uh, uh, yeah, I believe you're talking about uh, G3PO. That guy's turns out to be a dick. Um, Accurate. How did you get underneath this pile of rocks? There Misa was, minding my, Misa own business, <laughs> when all of a sudden, <laughs> ba-boom, Misa trapped. Misa lose consciousness, whatever that word is. About, for about, about, about how long ago was this ba-boom? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Misa don't know. Misa guess five minutes ago. <laughs> uh, do you live here? Yes, k- kinda. Misa live here. Misa seen the shit. <laughs> seen the shitza. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Misa seen the shitza. <laughs> hey, Croy. Uh, wh- where are all the other Gungans? Oh, Misa don't know. You just hanging out here by yourself? Yes, sir. Were you always the only one in here? No, sir. Uh, they used to have a lot of Gungans in here, but they took them out. Misa don't know what happened to them. Which way did they go? And he points out to where you guys just came from. How was it that you stayed behind? They never took me. They, they leave Misa here. They only take you all one at a time? Sometimes. Depends. depends a. Did uh, they do all this to you? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. They didn't do this to me. Uh, sir, other Gungans did. Oh. What? And some other people. Misa, Misa don't know them as well. Misa didn't know the Gungans as well either that did this to me. Then dare I ask, why well, did they do this to you? There Misa was. Minding my own business, when all of a sudden, Misa wake up, and Misa have to attack and kill other Gungans. Misa didn't like that, but they tried to kill me too, so I killed them back. Denton, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, W73, why don't you, uh, why don't you explain your theory on hats and scarves to this fella real quick? Uh, while, oh, I would be delighted. Well, so did I step over here. So the important thing is that you know you did that, they got to compliment Have. each other as well as yourself. Walk, oh, walk, Misa walk. did not know that. <laughs> Sorry. So okay. So when that happens, you <laughs> All right. In improv, we call that a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, uh, where are you guys? So you guys are going around the corner a little bit from out of yeah. The, okay. All right. Probably on the side of his bad ear. <laughs> is this and, and bad eye? <laughs> Actually, yeah, 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 that, yeah. that's all. Yeah, so. it's accurate. He, he, he's like the two-faced Gungan. He's always running into walls. He can only make left-hand turns. <laughs> oh. He's constantly going, just going in squares. <laughs> <laughs> Not even circles. <laughs> well, they do have a oh, lomping. Oh gosh. Uh, so, just woke up to uh, Gungans attacking him. Yeah, um, have you ever read the Earth series Hunger Games? No, I think that's set in the future. (laughs) I'm just teasing. That's way off. (laughs) So, this is a long time ago. (laughs) In the galaxy far, far away. (laughs) So, Uh, they're not just hunting Gungans, they're making them hunt each other? No. I wonder if some of those plans uh, we saw in G3PO's office were like some kind of mind control. I wonder if he even remembers attacking and killing why he had to. Well, Let's he go. remembers hurt, like having to kill them, but yeah, but, maybe not why. So they don't know why, other than sheer survival. And just maybe sending them on their own villages and attacking each other? That's crazy. Um, we'll just have to... Uh, do we take him with us, or...? I, I don't feel like we can leave him here. If we leave him here with the doors blown off, they, he doesn't stand a chance. Okay, so we'll take him with us. 
Um, I'm really but, starting to lean towards blowing up this whole place. I, I, I'm down with that. And somehow getting our radio parts still. <laughs> oh, yeah, we gotta do that, too. <laughs> I keep putting my hand in my pocket and finding this piece of paper. It's like, what's this list? And it's, and it's these four radio parts. I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to get these uh, four radio parts. And for some reason, pairs. See, see, this is why I usually should prep a little bit because that was my whole thing. Is like I should probably mention, like, what's the goal that you guys are still yeah. trying to obtain? Not exactly where you just left off. Denton only plays dumb, son. <laughs> <laughs> it's what's kept him alive so far. I'm taking a rule from Denton on that one. <laughs> is what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so we can't just come back for him. So we've got to keep him with us when I we mean, go find the radio parts. Do we the, know? the old uh, we have a prisoner routine seems to work pretty well around here. It has worked, yes. Everyone knows us from the, the party planners. Oh, yep. I hear that party's still raging, too. You hear the music <laughs> bumping down the way? In reality, you all hear nothing. <laughs> 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 or when, when we pass by it, that the music uh, was for, for, First off, never invite me to one of your parties. <laughs> My parties are off the chain. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I saw the poster in the break room. It said it went to a question mark. That's a sign of lame. Uh, so why don't we go back? Uh, we'll grab him. I know we don't know where G3PO is, but why don't we have W73 just like say he's G3PO? And if yeah. we run into the real G3PO, we, uh, uh, we'll deal with it. Yeah. Pro- probably with explosions. <laughs> You know, for once, I am I am 100% on board with your explosion plans. All right. I, I'm sorry. I went to post up for a high five. I forgot. <laughs> I have another arm. <laughs> it's not like a handshake where it's awkward when well, it's the I other one. Well, I went with one. my dominant arm. There's a slight tingling sensation. <laughs> Could be a heart attack, but probably not. That's probably where you got stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it hard? No, no, no. It's where I was stabbed. Okay. Really close to that. Really, really close. Really close to the heart. Oh, you may. This is a big... Nope. Oh, oh that's where I got stabbed. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, go circle let's up the stop. wagons. So as you guys uh, uh, walk So back. anyway, I think you're something more of a, uh, maybe have a purple or a lavender or something like that. I think we'd uh, accessorize your Oh, little Misa would love purple. Yeah, and it could cover up, um, you know, parts of you that you want covered up or you don't want showing, if you will. Misa want parts covered up? Well, I'm not, I don't want to put words in your mouth. But hey, W73, no body shaming. Huh? You, just, you don't need anything covered up. You're perfect. Oh, I well, used to think I'm a perfect two. Well, I mean, you, you two could definitely these... use some covering up. I can tell you that right now. Although we do want you to put on these handcuffs. Me so wonder why. Oh, well, well, probably should have led with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Me uh, don't want to be in captivity or whatever. <laughs> well, sounds like you guys came up with a great plan while you were gone. We are going to take you out of here. Misa like that. But you have to come out under the guise as our prisoner. Misa. That's the only way we can get you out of here. Mm. Mm. We won't even put them tight. You can get your hands right out of it. No Misa tight? They won't be tight. Well, she's going to be in handcuffs, too, since we're, st- we're still transporting her as a fake prisoner. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, so we'll be in this she- together, Croy, if it's okay. You guys are good. Bumble. Should we handcuff them together? Yeah, might as well. One hand. <laughs> That's a- uh, probably pick the, right, the, the good arm for her. That's a good point. Or, I mean, the bad arm. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Misa, I'm okay with this. I hope it corresponds with his good eye and ear being on the outside. I was going to say. This is a weird lowest common denominator problem. This, this fractions we're dealing Misa with all of a sudden. can hear you, by the way. Well, I'm just saying, look, if... Look, have, have any, now who's body shaming? Look, look, have any of y'all ran a, a space three-legged race? Uh, in, a manner, like that. You in a manner of speaking. You, yeah, you make sure your dominant is on the outside. It's fine. Okay. So, so that, okay. I'm not fully equipped that way. <laughs> Both my sides are dominant. I'm not a tripod. <laughs> double dominant. <laughs> okay. Double dom. Uh, so, Misa, okay with this discipline. All right. Good. I think he likes you, Senna. If it gets us out of here, that's cool. And then, you know. We're going to blow everything up. Oh, yeah. We said we were going to blow everything up. I'm glad up. there was more to that sentence. <laughs> you still going to blow everything up? I think so. Ooh. Misa like this plan. That's a specialty. I feel like there's nothing good here. Yeah. It's all. 
evil and decrepit. It's been at least 25 minutes since we blew something up. Uh, we didn't really even blow anything up. I was about like 15. Yeah. I mean, you know, once you blow something up, you kind of get the itch oh, to do it again. Feels like 25 minutes. Yeah. I've never blown this many things up before. It's a good time. It's pretty nice. <laughs> I guess uh, go out the way we came in. Yeah, uh, as long as we avoid that party. Dale's party. <laughs> Who's the Dale? <laughs> huh? Oh, he's a guy I made up. Yeah. Oh. He's retiring today. Dale's still retiring? Yeah. The, the fake person we know, he also is retiring. Sometimes we have intricate backstories and sometimes we don't. <laughs> we That's do- when we usually blow things up. Especially if we can't remember the intricate backstory. Misa understands. <laughs> no idea who All you right. are. Let's blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, Coif, uh, uh, big parts of the plan here to remember. Yes, uh, you're going to be a fake prisoner tied up with Senya, who we're going to call Sonia for uh, reasons you don't need to worry about. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and just try and get uh, both you out of here uh, with W73 pretending to be that, that terrible guy that kidnapped you initially. Yeah, so I have my backstory. You guys should both have backstories as well. Uh, they are prisoners. Well, I know, but that's that's kind of basic. I mean, well, Corey doesn't really need a backstory because he is a prisoner. He is actually what. Oh, he is okay. So he he's is. got his own backstory. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's like his life. All right. So he's not pretending. Right. There, Amisa was minding my own business. Well, God damn it. Oh, he's I recall that. Story. Yes. <laughs> he just launches into that every time he's every, unsure. <laughs> he's, he's like Snoopy. It was a dark and stormy night. Every <laughs> yeah. single one of his stories. There, Amisa was minding my own business. <laughs> it's his version of Snow Shit. There, I was. You're, ju- you're just telling us about dinner. Don't start with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Misa had the most wonderful dinner. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> the longest walk begins with the first step. <laughs> And here we go. So move it, prisoners. All right. Are you guys putting things on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put okay. Very, very, very easily to be take to fall off. Okay. So, and how are you guys doing it? One arm, one arm. Yeah. That sounds yeah. Good. All right. Defiant one style. All yeah. right. What arm is it putting on on her, and what arm is it putting on him? Uh, whatever her non-injured shoulder is. Okay. So that one. So my non-injured shoulder. So you're. Her, so your her left, left hand, her left arm is, is to his. I thought it was right because right we were making fun of the fact that my dominant arm is. But you're, well, that's this is the one that got hurt. Is oh, the then that's my non-dominant. Because he, cause he okay. tried getting right to your heart, and then yeah, and that's you, closer left. He, okay, you so moved that way. It's my non-dominant arm, a little sore. Although, should we leave her dominant arm out in case we need her? That's what I think. Okay, yeah. So if that. I need to. Does range still, of motion. Does this, yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah. So you're. I can aim better with the this one. one. So I mean, like, you're injured. Actually, that I think puts his injured side on your injured side. Yeah. So that yeah. uh, injured sides it together. Does. That makes you guys a whole person. Oh my! We still like best friends. Total besties, space besties. So you guys, I can't wait till he tells this story in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> there, Misa was in the prison, chained to someone. Minding my own business. <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, let's go all right so you yes. guys are doubling back <clears throat> around yes. um, yeah. okay so you guys slowly make your way you know as it goes up into the one chamber and you through the hookah through the yeah you've gone through the hookah to go up to the, ne- to the, the next to the next chamber where the, the yes right Aha. where mm-hmm. the stone cots are um <laughs> And as and as you walk by, he's like, uh, you know, there Misa was minding my own business when I took a nap right there, and uh, and he seems very engaged with what he's telling, and it's not a really important story. That's that's the part you guys stopped listening. <laughs> um, and then he. Do you remember when we weren't sure he could talk? Um, <laughs> and you guys walk back out that room, and then you guys Quiet turn prisoner. left, and you see the the, the bars. Uh, the, the bars, the one that's been blown off completely mm-hmm. off the hedge, and the other one that's still there. They've been put back together. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, crap. And so, as you guys... Uh, oh, sorry. You guys keep walking through that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So, you keep walking through, and then you're going to... Uh, up ahead on the left, or up ahead, it's probably within like five feet, is uh, G3PO's room. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, and then it kind of goes around a corner and turns. Is there anything worth stealing in G3PO's room? Yeah. There's that other skeleton of a droid, but I don't... 
And that gave us no information, right? No. You plug in and check it. Sure. Okay. So go ahead and uh, plug in. And I, what did I have you plug in with last time? I think it was... Um, uh, you can only be plugged in for four minutes. <laughs> uh, roll technical if you don't have droids. No. Um, I don't think you do. I think it's there, but you don't have like a pip for it or anything. It, yeah, I think it's... Uh, yeah, I don't think I have one for droids. It's just 3D technical. Yeah, so... yeah, so. Ooh. So, as you guys... Uh, sorry, not as you guys. As you, um, you walk up to the shell that's kind of hanging mm-hmm. there, and uh, you take your little finger out, and uh, it lifts up, and there, there's your, I guess, what would you call that, the entry point for, mm-hmm. your, for your system, and you connect to that version of the protocol droid that's hanging up, and um, you're not getting any readings from it. It's on, it's, it's connected to the overall system, but it's... It's okay. not really. Give, it, it's not giving you any there's, information. It's it's like an empty hard drive. Okay. There's it's just uh, a shell. Uh, this droid is much like you two. It is de- also dead inside. <laughs> can you access the building system through it? I can try. Hold, please. All right. So this time to do this, it's what is higher for you, mechanical or technical? Technical. So roll technical again. Ooh. Twenty. Oh yeah. So, um, as you're starting to access the system, and you're starting to you're accessing, you're going. You know, it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of like you're walking through a room, going to the the. This is found here, here, like you did last yeah. time. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I kind of remember this, and you're getting your way there. Um, you, you're sensing something through in the data, and you're not sure what it is, but it's not good. Okay. And if you keep going towards the map, it could. It, it might not be good. I have to check that out. <laughs> okay. Can you guys go to the garage, please? <laughs> 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 I am so sorry. Um, Lisa, so sorry. Lisa, so sorry. Um, if you guys want to put your coat on or something, because it might be chilly. I don't want to be like, send you guys out there to the... For a desk. Yeah. This will only take 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it won't. <laughs> we'll wait for them to be completely. So, right as you begin to access the map, mm-hmm. the map begins to fade away, and all of a sudden you hear an oddly familiar voice. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to try to do you, but I'm just be like, "There you are." Uh, hello. Hello. Trying to access the map again, are you? Well, you know, I, um, yeah, but uh, uh I was just. You know, I just seen. Uh, you know, I'm always curious when there's other protocol droids and what they, what you know, they might be able to tell me. So mm. yeah. You know, my favorite part is we gave you very explicit instructions. Well, not you, your 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 teammates. I find them very interesting, and you failed every step of the way. Oh uh, well, I mean, I yeah. I, just one droid. And, uh, and right as he says that, you get a video file into your data bank. And it's you guys shopping and very clearly explaining your plan. And it looks like it's from overhead hovering. Okay. And, I mean, and he's just like, so if not wasn't bad enough, then you come to my, to my pl- I live here. And with, with Groybot Parlance the third, of course. And you... And you try to insult me in such a manner to really now. Uh, but sorry. So we have a few ways of doing this. You can, you can go for the map and pay for it later or come meet me and my boss in the throne room, lead the team there. And I'll give you directions just for that. And then we'll carry on with how you'll pay me back and pay my boss back. Uh, okay, we'll come meet you. Okay, okay, so as GM, I'm asking you, are you really gonna go for the map or are you gonna follow him into the throne room? Oh, we're gonna go to the throne room. Okay, okay, <laughs> all, right. all right. And by the way, uh, he just like, all right, so what, what is it gonna be? Uh, we'll, we'll come meet you. Okay, 
So here is what I would like you to do. It's very simple and it's gonna be very hard for you. Don't tell them anything. Just tell them that you know a shortcut on how to get out of here that you've accessed. Okay. Sound good? Sure. Excellent. I have a shortcut to get out of here. All right. By the way, take care of yourself. I might need you later. Uh, okay. Posing Roles is presented by D4K Studios and is produced in conjunction with Nick Argenbright and William Dell with all editing provided by William Dell Productions. Our game system for this episode is Star Wars, the role-playing game, published by West End Games, republished by Fantasy Flight Games. Our cast is myself, Nick Argenbright, as Game Master, with Denton Stegor, played by Eric Sternberger, Twi'lek Rebel Scout Sinya, played by Samantha Stark, and Protocol Droid W73 being played by Steven Woosley, a.k.a. Woos. Beta audience support provided by Laura Spires. Music for the show provided by Lucas King Piano and Pink Zebra featuring Benji Jackson. Website help provided by Alice Fox of alicefox.net. The logo and cover artwork provided by Scott Weaving for our podcast Opposing Roles, found at opposingrolespod.com. That's O-P-P-O-S-I-N-G-R-O-L-L-S pod, P-O-D, dot com. We are, of course, on Twitter and Instagram under the username GoodBadGeeky. Follow that for updates on all the different projects I'm involved in, including opposing roles. But warning, it is my personal Instagram and Twitter, so there's some of that, too. Star Wars and all related titles, logos, and characters are trademarked property of Disney. And Opposing Roles does not imply an official affiliation with, endorsement of, or sponsorship by the copyright and trademark holders, unless otherwise noted. Opposing Roles is a production of D4K Studios.